Hello students, today we will going to talk about isomerism. So, this is the last topic of chapter number 7 organic chemistry. So, what is isomerism? Iso means same and merism means composition. So, when two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formula and definitely if their structure is going to be different their properties will also affect. So, in this lecture we will discuss that how isomers are formed and I will also tell you about a very tricky way to get isomers of alkanes in just one second. So, let us start. So, now this is structural formula. If we know the structural formula, it will be very easy for us to understand that in how many other forms it can be arranged. It is an expanded form of a compound. Bonds and composition both will be prominent in structural formula. Like in this case, we can easily understand that we have two carbons and one carbon is attached with three hydrogens while the other carbon is attached with oxygen and hydrogen. Now here this carbon is also known as a very famous functional group aldehyde. So what is this compound? This is basically one carbon compound having a functional group. So when we have a aldehyde functional group we used to write L with it. So, it is going to be methanol. For one carbon, we use the name methane and when we remove one hydrogen, it will become an alkyl group CH3. And from where we have removed our one hydrogen, we will put a functional group which is aldehyde group. So, it will become methanol. So guys, do not you think that it is quite easy to tell about the name, about the structure and about the symbols and the atoms which are going to use in the formula by knowing the structural formula. So now molecular formula, it tells us about the symbols for the constituent elements and the number of atoms of each molecule present in a compound. Like here, I can easily tell you that in this compound, I have two carbons, four hydrogens and one oxygen. And the symbol of the elements is showing that they are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So, it is an organic compound and it is an hydrocarbon. Molecular formula and structural formula helps a lot in forming isomers. So, now let us discuss about isomers. Isomers of butanes. So, now what is butane? Butane is a 4 carbon compound in which single bond is present. So, what happens? that one carbon from the end will be break down and will attached to the second carbon and will form isobutane. What do you think? Molecular formula has changed? No, the molecular formula remains same but the structure formula has changed. One carbon has attached through carbon number 2 and form a branch. So, this in which we have a straight chain of carbon is known as N-butane. While whenever carbon attaches to the second carbon atom, it will be known as isobutane. So, in this way, N-butane and isobutane are the isomers of each other. And no other arrangement is possible because now the left behind carbons are only the two side carbons. So, the butane has only two isomers. 
Now here is the list of isomers of alkanes which you have to remember. It is not possible to remember all these isomers. So we will discuss a trick which make it so much easy for you to make isomers of alkanes. Before going to the trick we just have to check these isomers like methane has one, ethane has one, propane also has one. Butane has 2 isomers, pentane has 3, hexane has 5, heptane has 9, octane has 18, nonane has 35 and decane has 75 isomers. So basically decane is formed by 10 carbon atoms. You can also add all these isomers to get the isomer of decane total number of isomers of decane. Now here you just have to learn this simple formula 2 raised to power n minus 4 plus 1. We will put one by one the number of carbon atoms at the place of n. This n is representing number of carbon atoms and we will get our isomers. So, it will be quite easy. Let us start. So, now for methane, in case of methane we have one carbon atom. We will put number of carbon atoms at the place of n. So, 1 minus 4 plus 1. It is going to be 2 minus 3 plus 1. 2 raised to power minus 3. Now, we know that 2 raised to power minus 3 is a very negligible quantity as compared to 1. So, it is going to be neglected and the answer will be 1. So, how many isomers methane have? Methane have 1 isomer. This is ethane. Ethane has 2 carbons. So, 2 will be put at the place of n and after solving we will get that 2 raised to power minus 2 is a negligible quantity. So, the remaining one will be the answer. In this way, ethane have also one isomer. Carbon 3, propane. When we will put the value of 3 in n, we will get 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 1. So, again, 2 raised to power minus 1 is a negligible quantity. So, the isomers of propane will be 1. C4H10. What is this? This is butane. So, here 4 will be replaced at the number of n and we will get 4 minus 4, 0. So, here anything raised to power 0 will be equal to 1. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So, how many isomers butane have? Butane have 2 isomers. So, it is quite easy to just put the number of carbon atoms at the place of n and you will get your answer and you will get the number of isomers of your alkanes. But this formula is eligible only up to carbon 7. After 7, there is a little change we will discuss it in the next slide. Here is for 5, carbon 5 is pentane. We have to put 5 in place of n and we will get 5 minus 4, 2 raised to power 1. So, 2 raised to power 1 means 2, 2 plus 1 will 3. So, pentane have 3 isomers. Here for carbon 6 which is hexane. Now, 6 will be put at the place of n, 6 minus 4 will give you 2, 2 raised to power 2 will be 4. So, 4 plus 1 will gonna be 5. How many isomers hexane have? Hexane have 5 isomers. Now, this is the formula which we will going to apply for heptane. In case of heptane, 7 carbons. So, 7 minus 4, 
will give us 3 and 2 raised to power 3 will be equal to 8. 8 plus 1 9. So, obtain have 9 isomers. Here we are dealing with octane. In case of octane, we do not have to use plus 1, we have to use plus 2. So, now 8 will be put at the place of n, 8 minus 4 will give you 4, 2 raised to power 4 is equal to 16 plus 2 and you will get 18. So, octane have 18 isomers, it is easy. Now, this is for non n, it has 9 carbon atoms and when 9 will be put at the place of n, we will get 9 minus 4 and this will be 5. 2 raised to power 5 will be equal to 32. At the place of 2, we have to use 3 here. So, now 32 plus 3 will be 35. We have 30 more, 35 isomers of non N. In case of decane C10, the formula is little bit changed, but you just have to remember these 4 formulas and you will get, get 75 isomers of alkane. 2 raised to power n minus 4 plus 1 plus n. So, now we will put the value of n 10 minus 4 and here the n will be 10. 10 minus 4 is 6, 2 raised to power 6 will be equal to 64, 1 plus 10 is 11. So, in totality we have 75. So, in this way just by a tricky method or by using these 4 simple formulas we can calculate, we can find out all the isomers of alkanes. Thank you so much.